Good morning, folks. That's right. You're not seeing things. That there is a muzzy. It is muzzy season here in Iowa. It's summertime. We gotta, we gotta take our winter spring coats off. Get rid of that itchiness. Oh, it feels so much better. But you gotta remember, you can't go full rogue because then you look like you're 12. So you gotta leave a little something just to know like, hey, this guy, this guy's older, right? This guy's not like 12. Now, this is not just a, uh, a muzzy because of in light of recent news, you know, Top Gun came out. Everybody's going crazy over Rooster. This is not because of that. This is a this is a classic here for Man Family Farms. This is a DJ classic, all right? If you go watch my fourth video posted over a year ago, I was rocking the Muzzy. morning we got ourselves a little uh, truck project we've got an air valve assembly that went bad this bottom part here just just shot it's leaking air out all the time so we've got the new one I've got to switch over these air fittings I took it out this morning and I didn't video any of that just because I didn't know what I was gonna get into this little thing you want to know how much that that whole thing costs yeah around 800 bucks so that's just crazy mounts right here to the air tank a bunch of air fitting lines go into it supplies air to I believe each of the brakes here we're gonna get back on there and hopefully everything works all right it's all on there hopefully everything is tidied up right fire the truck up give it a try make sure that's back in the fill fingers crossed it just never fails you think you're fixing the right thing ends up being something else here is the update new valve assembly is on i mean that obviously seems to be working like i had mentioned it was leaking out of the bottom but did a little research the brake chamber that was right here it was completely shot the spring inside was broke we took that off i took it to the shop and they didn't have any so we're gonna get some more tomorrow and we can replace that basically what i found out is and what badger told me is if you have leaking up at the valve in the cab typically that means a brake chamber so okay then i inspected it i see like okay that was bad and then the other thing was what usually happens why it leaks out of the bottom of the valve assembly is because for some reason if the air isn't circulating right in there it'll back feed back up into the valve assembly leaking going back leaking on the bottom makes sense so hopefully fingers crossed that'll fix this whole issue through here hopefully it's just that one bad brake chamber hopefully we don't have any of these bad ones these ones are actually on the third axle so they're a little bit smaller a little easier to handle so that's where that project is at hey well, Dixie snuck in here we got a little something going on here down at the shop so come check it out oh hey Justin's back. He's here to tune the 4020. It's the greatest tractor of all time. All right? Guys? <laughs> yeah. As you guys remember me from Agri Eco Power, I'm also affiliated with another company as well called AKE Safety Equipment. It's another one of my passions. It's actually a fire safety equipment company. So what I'm going to be doing is a quick demonstration of our automatic system. But initially, I will do a demo of our extinguishers themselves. I'll show you what it is, how it works, and that's gonna be pretty much it. What Stop Fire is, is actually a proprietary blend of gases. This is our high capacity model. You have a gauge on the bottom, uh, DOT approved. Come out as a liquid. And you'll be, it'll be expanding back to this gas. That is actually what's gonna put out your fire. Now with your traditional dry chem powder extinguisher, uh, that powder is designed to come over top of the fire, blanket it, smother it out. Stop fire, all you gotta do is get close. This is actually comes out as a liquid, like I said, and expands back to a gas. And then once it's drawn into the fire, it will interrupt that fire chemical reaction and extinguish the fire. Gonna burn the place down here. 
I am gonna burn the place down. Here's your fire. Stop fire. Didn't even have to get that close. Cool thing about it. We'll get a pretty good size one. Oh yeah. Fire's done. Doesn't hurt your skin. Wow. So you go dump it on your friend if he's on fire and he'll be just fine. It'll help cool the fire to prevent a reignition. You can actually see on this glass how cold it is. Does not harm electronics even while running. Doesn't hurt food. Does not conduct electricity. We also have automatic systems, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. High capacity model, five pound extinguisher. This is designed to use it as squirts. You're gonna pull the pin, pull the trigger, give it a squirt. If you were to blow off your traditional dry cam, this is actually what comes in it. Every 30 days, the guy's supposed to turn these things over. Pound on them. See how kicked up that is? That is just vibration in my truck. You don't know if you've got a brick or what's going on in the bottom of that thing. This stuff's very corrosive. Stop fire. This is in comparison. It's a small vessel, but it packs a huge punch. This is a single-handed operation, two-handed operation, not to mention big, bulky, small, compact. There's a lifetime guarantee on these. Drop it, break it, run it over. Your fault or ours. AKA will send you a brand new one as long as you have the old carcass available. They are refillable right out of Rochester, Minnesota. We pay for shipping to and from Rochester for you. A lot of guys use them once, send them up, top them off. Pricing's gonna vary. A lot of different options. That's something we can discuss when you reach out to me. My number, again, 515-890-0257. My name is Justin Hellickson. Again, AKE Safety Equipment. This style here is gonna be more for your say server rooms, something like that. This is where it's gonna be detecting a light. You'll see just how quick this goes out. Woo. Fire's done. I don't wanna catch it on a fill with <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's so fast. <laughs> Cools it to help prevent that reignition. Jeez. This setup here is more, like I said, first server room, uh, IR system where it's gonna be detecting light. We've got other sensors, it's called the Firefly system that will detect heat. Uh, we've got smoke sensors that'll detect smoke. Say you have a carpentry deal with a dust collection. You got a piece of metal going through that filtration system. We've got sensors that'll pick up that heat and go off. Same thing with a combine. If you wanted something set up there, if you've got heat going through that, you know, say you caught a piece of metal and it's going through with your grain. Boom, done. We've also got some basic setups with turn valves. We've got a three bay setup to where you can put three different cans in there. Reach out if you've got any questions. I can walk you through any other questions you guys have. Just a quick instruction video demo on what it does. All right, now that he's done all that stuff, we can get into the real, real stuff. He's gonna tune this 4020 to about 200 horsepower. You gonna plug right into the ECM on this one? Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I've got a, I got a hammer and a screwdriver out in the truck. We can go get that, but you know, if we can find the uh, ECM on it. That's pretty important around <laughs> here. We, we need that for big, oh. big horsepower. Thanks again, Justin, we appreciate it. Thank you. MMB at it. MMB. You know what that means. Master no. mechanic Bucky. Bucky. That was junk. That was on there at least 10 years ago. Because the tractor got painted in 2012. The compressor got painted. And I don't know how long it was on before that. But it's I'd say it's easily 15 years old. It was more than time to replace it. He's gonna be working overtime the next couple weeks. Yeah. 4450. Oh, we do have the hood. But I think this Let's just roll with it. We'll do that the next rainy spell. It's Friday, June 17th, two days prior to Father's Day. And we are measuring this corn plant here out in the yard, right close to the yard. It's two feet to the whorl, to the base of the whorl. If you outstretch the tallest leaf, 
It's four foot tall. Christine is leaving today and will be gone for all of next week and we'll be back, I believe Monday, like the 27th. It'll be Sunday the 26th. So Monday, like 12 days from now, we will remeasure this corn. And I predict that this whirl in here will probably be four foot tall and this leaf will probably be over six feet tall. That will be my prediction. That plant will grow two feet in 10 days. See you then. What's up, YouTube? Oh, it's the head. Finally got the AC rejuvenated. We're doing some mowing here, finally. It feels like we're behind, but we're always behind. So, make hay when the sun shines. Looking good. KCB, can crusher. Junkyard now. Crusher. Here we go. Look at that. That was a pancake. How fun is that? These barrels have been around for about 20, 30 years. Yeah. Get them crushed. <laughs> Junkyard will take them. Look at that. I can feel the air force of that. Now that is fun, fun stuff. Thumbs up by DJ. Oh, yeah. Got a nice bright sunshiny day here, Southern Iowa. Southern Iowa, what am I thinking? Got a nice bright sunny day here, Central Iowa. Let's go mow some hay. Good. Just out here checking the blades, making sure I'm not missing one. I think I'm gonna try to go one more to the half of this home place. Before I change them, then they'll be for sure ready. There's a, they're getting some nicks in them, but they're really still pretty good. I can flip these too. Raken, the ride, motor around area 21. How fun is that? Here we are, another story of the rim wit. We only had to use it twice since we've had it, but we're sure glad we got it. We've used it three times, I should say. On the rim here, it was a little tough getting off. Just pulls it right off. Later. Relishing over how nice this thing was. Look at Devin. Look at the smile on his face. Look how happy he is. Look who just rolled in! High roller! Look at him go! With his 605 Super M! Look at him go! Down the hillside with his 4640! What a beast! It's 8 o'clock on a Saturday night! Where else would you rather be? The height of his glory. Look at that. Woo! Look at that thing. Just eat that ride grain up. Just eat it up. First bales of the season for man farms. Are you kidding me? A bale already? He only went like a hundred yards. Just eating it up. 